Text me the address. Gotta go home. Dead body. I should get back anyway. I got a lot to do. Why does Dexter have to abandon his little family trip? Do they have no other blo blood spatter analyst? It's just so weird that they always just call him. I'm just, I'm sick of, of explaining it to you. It's like you don't even listen Maybe to I would listen more if the things you said. I've been hearing them a lot lately. Maybe close the window. They don't sound very happy, do they? <laughs> <laughs> you and I are doing better, right? Much better. I'm happy we're in therapy. You really opened up to me a lot lately, Dexter. Don't you think? Opened up? About what? The only thing he has told her was that he needs a room for his stuff. Only one person who can help me. Dude, this is suspicious. How you just keep running into him. We're responsible to push our children out into the world to make them prepared and self-sufficient. Push them out, right? How do you do that? You open the door and give him a kick. Honestly, I'm new here and without my family, I don't know anybody. What are you doing tomorrow morning? <laughs> Nothing. Whatever you want us to do. Hey, Dad. Great to see you. Welcome back, Detective. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. That was a bit over the top. Huh? Welcome back. <laughs> Cover me, bro. Hi. Dexter Morgan. Excuse me, I have to talk. Uh, about... That's why I'm stopping you. As a favor to me, I'd really like you to not write about my sister. I think she'll make a great story. Your last great story got killed. Stay away. Why don't you uh, get us a cup of coffee? Oh, no, Alpha Quinn. With the attitude, she's just you come out of him. Everybody's trying to get a piece of Deborah right now. Your sister is a big girl. And she can take care of herself. And she made it clear that she doesn't want anything to do with her. What he's saying? I'm saying the guy who saw the other guy steal the money from the crime scene wants Christine kept away. <laughs> Dude. Dude. <laughs> What's with Batista and LaGuardia? They're afraid to look at each other. Why would that be? Because they're doing it. Makes sense. You put two people in a room together long enough, eventually they're gonna fuck. Mm -hmm. Run dip. <laughs> I'll need to find the right activity for Aster. What did I like to do when I was 12? Okay then, moving on. <laughs> I like you. Oh, I can make you a star. I just need to get you in my studio, whip your clothes off, and rough you up a little bit. <laughs> You're lucky, dude. She's free. <laughs> nice apartment. Yeah, right? I've wanted it for years. Whose was it? Why is Quinn helping you? I know this is like your place now, but are you always gonna, like, the people here? Yes, Dex. Sometimes I'm gonna have people over. <laughs> Like who, actually? Someone who's not a cop? I have every little iota of evidence Frank collected, except what was stolen by Trinity. I'm gonna run it all by LaGuardia tomorrow. With the kicker. <laughs> that Trinity shot me and Lundy too. But you still don't have anything to support that idea, right? I finally got some real info on who Dad might have been seeing. My mother, you mean? I'm having coffee with her tomorrow. Okay, now I'm confused. <laughs> How does soccer grab you? No thanks. How about ballet? Yuck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Little scientists association. Why do you hate me so much? <laughs> Dinner's almost ready. Good. I've got an early morning meeting. Plenty of experience with the chainsaw, but it's heavy, difficult to wield, has a short reach. Axe. This is a little too into the woods for me. So what is it we're doing out here? Cutting trees, obviously. You fucking moron, Dex. <laughs> God damn it! Want me to give it 
a try. What's eating him, huh? What's wrong? Arthur. The, the fuck is going on? What's up with them? It's acting so weird. I don't want the lumber in the hardware store. Is better? Yeah, it's better. Okay, Arthur, you're a bit off today. Hmm. Does he need to kill again or? <laughs> Great. Now we have dinner too. What a successful trip. It's gonna die. It's suffering. It needs to be put out of its misery, Arthur. Do we have time to get a key lime pie? <laughs> Pharaoh has a reputation for partying late into the night. Pharaoh's trusty assistant closing up shop right on schedule. The assistant is the killer. <sighs> lucky, lucky, lucky once again. They kept the computer running. <laughs> did you and my father... Did you ever have a romantic... I was one of his girlfriends, if that's what you're asking. I think he picked his CIs based on how good we were in the sack. <laughs> and how does she know that? I knew he was a hound when I met him, we all did. I was one of his favorites, though. I used to drive him crazy with this one thing. That's, 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 that's enough. Hey, 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 you asked for it, huh? So you stay and listen to Dad's sex stories. Dad was fucking Valerie Hodges. Really? But apparently she was just one of many. It's every father's nightmare. Disappointing his children. <laughs> that doesn't sound like Harry. Thank you, Dex. <laughs> I can't let her be cut up again. Hmm, that's not suspicious at all. To have her photo in your desk. This isn't a good weekend for me. Dexter, what do you have to do that's so important? Stuff. 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 You're not being honest. She should have really addressed that right there. What stuff? Dex, I thought you're honest with me now. Tonight's the night. Jonathan Farrow, party animal. Does he actually have any proof that it wasn't? Oh, I had a suspicion that Quinn would turn into dokes. Fuck me. What is he doing here? It couldn't be coincidence. Can you believe he's here? Uh, hmm. Who is he? <laughs> That's Quinn. Anthony Quinn. He's an actor. He must be Quinn. This lab you just fucking ditch me? <laughs> they heard a scratching noise on the roof of the car. When they got home, he went around to open the car door, and there, hanging from the handle, a squirrel. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> There's a man. You can call him the man of three. You can call him Trinity. <laughs> He'll sneak up on a man and raise his hammer overhead. And then he'll swing it down. Smash his own thumb and then go crying all the way home like a little baby. <laughs> That's what happens. Dude, what the fuck? Why did you ruin his story? Motherfucker. Yeah. 
What the hell? Why didn't you poke him with a needle? I never killed anyone. You killed Estrella Carrasso. Who knows how many others? You didn't fucking kill him? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe it was his assistant. <laughs> Nothing lasts forever. So, he actually did kill them? Oh. Just once I would like to see that he has the wrong person. Would be a bit of a dilemma, of course. What to do then? <laughs> Can't just let him go. Is that part of a circle? Cycle. Building a casket? What the hell? <laughs> yes! Thank you! Farrell's assistant. <laughs> I just arrested him for the murder of Estrella Carrazo. We got camera footage from the toll booth of him heading over to Alligator Alley. We got DNA evidence, we got everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dexy Moron. You had no proof. <laughs> You've disappointed Harry once again. <laughs> now he will throw up again and kill himself again. <laughs> 